This is Desert Homestead Prepping. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm on to the next phase of this electrical project. So this is going to be the breaker panel for inside the main cabin. I'm going to get going and getting this installed um, quite a bit that I have to think through. I got a pretty good plan, but how to run the conduit through the wall, how to overcome, you know, some of those things, I'm still kind of thinking through. It's a little late in the evening right now. I'm going to start working on this. <laughs> so, this is an an eight foot grounding rod and the way that this is going to be set up having this sub panel it has to have its own grounding rod so i'm going to have to sink this sucker all the way into the ground all right i'm going to get the post pounder and uh, see if that'll help me get this sunk into the ground pretty good sucker eight feet in the ground <laughs> so we're gonna mount this breaker box this panel right here on the wall I'm gonna go ahead and mount this and uh, then I'm gonna get to planning exactly where I'm gonna cut the hole in the wall for the cable to come through My wife's just getting some cleanup done this morning. She's also working on some of her her craft projects for a um, for a county fair. She has a booth, so some of her stuff here on the stove and some of these uh, bird cages that she's decorated for the Halloween season. She's uh, also outside got some other cages that she's painted that are sitting out there and waiting for those to dry so yeah she's got stuff going on here this is her favorite shirt <laughs> that uh she does all of her craft projects in it seems keeps her warm and it's the only know. one i leave out that when i put my winter stuff because we don't have enough room in here so i put winter stuff outside and i kind of swap my summer stuff and i keep one thing in here because this is my paint shirt a crafting shirt. Yep. My all-in-one. So. It's the all-in-one. And that's that's just kind of how it is. I mean, it's not like I'm dressing nice out here. We got stuff going on. Yep. So, for... The majority of the conduit I've decided I'm gonna use this poly pipe so I, I did look it up and people have shown that it is acceptable to use poly pipe as conduit and it actually is the exact same size as the conduit the fittings fit in there and couple onto it everything is uh, is really a match so uh, since I have this left over from our cistern project. I'm gonna use this to do the bulk of conduit from the power pole to the sub panel. So I'm gonna get this laid down in the hole and uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna start pushing cable through it. That's gonna be a lot of fun. That sucked so bad. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into trying to string that wire through that pipe. So yeah, um, the the footage that you missed was the neighbor coming and helping me, and you know, and then of course I had to get some more of these coupler pieces. So I don't know. So anyway, I, we spent a lot of time on that. We finally got this wire strung. So the girls are back in town. Um, Penny's getting ready for a craft show, so I'm on my own for lunch right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just heat myself up some leftovers. Got myself some fried potatoes and some cabbage stew. I know it, it sounds gross, but the cabbage stew is pretty good. Lunch is served. Okay, I'm going to get back at this project. I'm going to I'm going to run a, a smaller conduit. It's going to be should be a lot easier over to this little cabin. After that, I'm just going to hook up the power inside the main cabin to the sub panel and uh should be able to get everything all hooked up and and energized for the main cabin. We'll leave this strung but disconnected so that I can continue to put in light fixtures and wall sockets and all that stuff before I actually hook that up to the sub panel. So we'll have it all strung and ready to go as long as everything goes right. So we got everything wired to this panel. Now, got to go into the sub panel and get those two lines hooked up for the main cabin. And then we'll just have to double check, make sure everything's good and we'll turn on the power, see how it does.
got everything hooked up. Now all I have to do is just triple check, make sure everything's tight and good, put the panel back on, and I'm going to start energizing power, see how we do. Moment of truth. So far, so good. I've energized out there at the power pole. Now, let's see how we do. All right, get the fan going back there. Cool. It's looking really good. Very professional. At least I think it's professional looking. One step closer to having Abby's cabin electrified. You know, we, we appreciate you following along with us. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know what you think. Um, share your thoughts. Appreciate you guys sticking with us. Wish you all the best with everything going on around the world and here in our country. Scary times. So, uh, you know, I hope you're all doing well. Take care.